We're serving juice up again and no more power woes, hopefully for seven more years. Six volt. Oop, and you hear that? Even this one light is causing it to go off. There's, they're in a series and parallel, but they're toast. We need to do something about the battery. It's three times this week that the power is shut off. And here's the battery bank. Yeah, we got no lights. So we're just gonna uh, start disassembling the system. I'm gonna need a little more. I have eight batteries, so I've gotta grab a couple more connectors. They're flooded, so with this stuff here, this is just distilled water, deionized water. So there's no additives or things in it, and you just top up the batteries as they might need it. Um, that's the reason we have it in a sealed container, sealed environment, and have a vapor barrier in here, because we don't want the off-gassing. So we have a hole in the floor, which I can't really easily get to, where the ground goes as well. Um, yeah, and that is the extent of this solar array that we have. What gets, stores the power, at least had been, charges the batteries as well as powers our uh, electrical panel, which I'll show you real quick. This is where we shunt the power back and forth. So on occasion we, you know, when we run our pump, when I say on occasion, when we, we run our pump to fill up the inside cistern with water, uh, we turn the pump over to the top, uh, sorry, the bottom, which is the generator. I can't reach over because the only light I have is in my hand and if I, pull away. And then when we want to go to um, solar, we just uh, flip the top breaker over. There's only one possibility for being on this setup. I didn't I didn't wire this myself. This is one of the only things that we had someone else come and do and I was just, I didn't want to me obviously mess with electrical so having an electrician in to uh, do things professionally was important. Okay, um, I've talked a little bit about uh, parallel and, and series and uh, for batteries, that might be confusing, so I'm just going to take you through that real quick um, on the ground with a little bit of light because once we start switching the batteries out, we won't have any light. Uh, this, the batteries we have are Trojans we just got. They're Trojan T105s. Here's the information. This just tells you how much capacity. Amp hours is capacity. So when you look down at that, and you see that information, it might be confusing, but the important thing to, to look at this, this is basically a dirty finger. You know, it's a, um, you know, storage capacity. This is what you're, you know, going to be outputting at uh, or inputting at basically. And it's a six volt battery as it indicates. And we're going to uh, now turn this into a 12 volt uh, system. So we put both of these batteries together and um, place them together, I should say. They're not connected. So this is an independent uh, six volt system. And this is an independent six volt system. So how does this become a 12 volt battery? The way that we do that is we um, make our connection between this battery, which is the positive on this, to the negative on this battery. Once we connect that, this whole system changes from two 6 volt batteries to one 12 volt system. But it's not complicated. These are a little bit, you can probably see, a little bit corroded. I gotta take some sandpaper to this stuff before I start, but positive to positive, negative to negative. That's it. We now have, I, and these aren't tight, I mean, but if I had my voltometer, which I'm not going to do because this is just a simple concept I've done many times before, I've changed this 6.6 six into 112 volt. This is the negative. This is the positive. That's it. So now we have three batteries here. If I connected this positive to this one, it would be 18 volts. If I added a fourth the same way, I'd have 24 volt system. 
So, we've got two and a 12. So we're gonna make this the same. Okay, so that was series. Now we're gonna show you parallel. So, you have uh, 12 volts, 12 volts. You know, I shouldn't say that. 12 volt, 12 volt. Now we're going to um, just increase the amperage, amperage across uh, the whole system by connecting our uh, negatives and negatives and positives and positives. And that's it. You know, basically with these types of Get on there, I'm trying to have a conversation with the camera. <sighs> anyway, you can see, we've gone from 12, we still have a 12 and 12. It's all still a 12 volt system. The only difference is now it's in a, a parallel. So these are connected. <laughs> One more. Okay. Oh, blog. Oh. I was thinking, uh, gosh, I need a way to charge this battery and a place where I can work and see. And then uh, I realized that I had both in the bunkie. There's a charger USB, so I plugged it in. And I can see pretty good. So these things, you see that one's, I just dug some out that were from before. You know, corrosion is something that's real on these and you have to take care of it all the time. This has been sitting like this for a number, I don't know, probably like eight years since I originally used it. Uh, so we're gonna clean up all of them and then start. So we're just going to put this on like this, give it a good twist. This is a battery connector, usually you put it on a battery and do that, but we don't have that type of connector, so and it's handy just for removing a lot of this extra stuff. And then I'll put this through for where the connection is going to happen, and that's it. And then we're going to come back and sand off all this crap that doesn't come off easily. But you can see it's a lot better looking. Which is what we want ultimately. So I just sprayed that. Six. Much like I demonstrated before, I'm going to connect the positives to the negative. That's 12. Positive to negative, so we'll do a positive to a negative, and we'll have two. Just think, we're gonna have lights very soon. You'll be able to see what I'm doing. I'll do up the last two. You guys can watch. Oh, you guys can watch and see what the heck I'm doing here instead of just hearing it. Positive, negative, positive. So we have two 12 volt systems, and last but not least. I'm going to hook up my juice here. You guys might get to see this. Quickly power it up. So we're going to go negative, negative, positive to positive, and negative to negative. And you can't see this, but my power just came on. <laughs> I like it. At 225 amp hours, once you plug in 
that's that one, 225 amp hours at 12 volts. You put both of them together, it's 12 volts still, because we put it in parallel, and it goes to uh, 450, because it's 225 and 225, 450 together. We're gonna add two more, just like that, and it's gonna stay at 12 volts, but it's gonna go up to 900 amp hours in total. Anyway, let's hook these up. First of all, we got our positive to negative. You've seen this before. Nothing complicated. Um, okay, so we have these two 12, these are 12 volts now. Positive, positive, negative, negative. So we're gonna connect these negatives all together and these positives all together. I'm obviously gonna disconnect everything before I do that and power off. Yoink. Yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink. I said yoink. Didn't you hear me say yoink? And finger tight, finger tight, finger tight, finger tight, finger tight, and away we... I'm gonna stand up because me calves are burning. Look at that! Oh my dog! We're serving juice up again, and no more power woes, hopefully for seven more years.